I'm Sean and today I'm going to be giving you an in-depth analysis of FIFA 13. Now a lot of you at home will probably be thinking FIFA 12 and FIFA 13, it just looks like the same game. I mean, they've only added three things, but I can assure FIFA 13 fans that those three things are going to play a massive part of how you affect the game on the pitch. Attacking intelligence is what a lot of people wanted after the poor attacking intelligence that they had in FIFA 12. In FIFA 13, when you're on the ball, your strikers are going to make runs through on goal that could get you the goal that you need. As you can see on the screen, five midfielders making the vital run up the pitch to join in the action and increase the chance of a goal. This year EA have also added skill games. Now this is more of a kind of party mode thing where you're taking penalties against goalkeepers, dribbling round cones and generally having a good time. You're going to want to rack up a high score so you can beat your friends for this one. So, here's skill games. Here's Neymar, a fantastic player who plays for the national team of Brazil and he's showing you the basic level of dribbling. Finally, first touch control, which is probably the biggest change you have made. It sounds small, but it really, really is going to change things on the pitch. If you see Robin Van Persie making a run through on goal, and you want to pass him the ball, you may want to think twice, because the first touch that he takes could knock it too far in front of him, and the defender could gobble it up. When playing the game, you're really going to want to think about how you touch the ball, because it could lead to a chance on goal, or the defenders could just eat you alive. Thank you for watching the FIFA 13 analysis, goodbye.